A recent question asked how I create this rolling effect in my videos. The video topic involved using PTE AV Studio, but the effect you've just seen was created with my screen capture software Camtasia. Here is a similar effect we can create in PTE AV Studio. We can control the size of the rolling effect. We can even define the direction, up down, left right, corner to corner. We can even reverse the roll from unfolding to folding. The timing of the roll is variable of course via our transition time. We can also create and control a neutral coloured background to the curling transition. Let's take a look in PTE AV Studio because the curling of the page is a standard transition. We just need to make a few tweaks to make it work as you've just seen. Now we can add transitions to every image in our sequence for our project options or we can just select one or a few via slide options. Now I'll select all four of those images and I'm going to go to my slide options and the option that we want to select is curling of the page. All of the settings we need to access are on the right hand side. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the page is coming from the top left to the bottom right. So we need to change some of these options. Let's first click the little arrow pointing left. Now we can see that the page seems to be, I suppose we would call that unfolding. Let's switch them around by clicking the folding. Now we're getting closer to the sort of setting we're looking for. Generally, I think we need a slightly longer transition time. Three, four and five are probably going to work a little bit better. But now down into the radius, I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to just over type that value because a little experimentation has shown me that 6% works quite well. We can see that in the thumbnail, but of course, if we just click OK, that's now been applied to all of these images. So let's take a full screen preview and we can see that those four seconds of transition time look about right, but maybe three seconds would work well too. And the 6% radius gives us a nice size for the rolled effect. But once again, we have plenty of scope to change that. So coming back into PTE AV Studio, let's just select one of these images and go back to the slide options. The curling of the page was already selected for this image, so that's not going to change, or the settings that we originally applied. So we can go down now and make some adjustments if we felt it was necessary. I could increase the radius to something like 10, and we'll see the effect of that in the thumbnail above. And here is where we can change the color of the back side of the image. I quite like to be able to see the image as it rolls up, but if we tick this little box, it'll pick up this color and we'll see it shown to us in the thumbnail. And while we're viewing, let's drop this down even lower to something like 4% and we'll get a feel for that at the same time. But of course, we can click this option at any time. So we've got all those colors and shades that we can choose from. So let's take a look in the mini player at the effect of reducing the radius to 4% and also adding that color to the back side of the roll. Now I've been doing a bit of experimenting with the last two options at the bottom of this panel, the 3D volume and also the slider we'll find here. But I can't really make a great deal of difference to what we're seeing in the thumbnail above. And I seem to be able to achieve everything I want without those options. Let's take a look at just a few examples to finish.